Good Sunday morning, you ladies and gentlemen. I feel wonderful this morning. I hope you do too. This is the first day of daylight savings time, and I'm running an hour later. Ta-da! My body clock didn't change. The government. Who is the government? These are the people that make. Their, they're they're the people that make these choices, and they put their pants on one leg at a time. But anyway, having said that, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now, and right now went right on by. The point there is, if there's anything you want to do, you better get busy doing it. And then what else? Uh, never worry about what you cannot change. A point to ponder. And uh, did you know that beer and wine contain zero cholesterol? <laughs> Thought you might want to know that. And then also, what else? Well, they, the places you get cholesterol are from beef, chicken, pork. That's it. Chicken and turkey have a little bit. Pork and beef have a lot. Pork and beef has the most, I think. So, still in my Class C motorhome here. Got my tiny home right there. I feel pretty good. And so, let's have a nice positive lead off to the comments this morning so we can roll on. Here we go with Harry Rithman, Mr. Positivity. Sorry you bought a Hyson. They don't have a good reputation for quality or customer service. I have read lots of BBB complaints. The fact that Lowe's sells them does not, doesn't mean you will get better service. Well, thank you, Harry Rithman, for that uplifting comment. Oh, God, how can we live without people like you? He read several BBB complaints. Well, you know what? While you're li living your life of misery, I am riding around in a golf cart enjoying the hell out of my life. So thank you, but thank you for your comment. Oh. Skippy, Rusty, call the new cart the Blue Ox. Looking good, and you too. Yeah, the Blue Ox. That's all right. You call it the Blue Ox. I probably won't remember. I just call it, I don't call it anything, to tell you the truth. Motor City Cobra on Carlsbad, New Mexico, says Hillbilly Town. Good, I like Hillbillies. King for a day, Beer 30. He's got, well, he's got two comments here. Those Ford Fairlane, Fairlanes hardtop convertibles are sometimes called Skyliners. Original cost was like thirty-seven hundred. Now probably fifty to two hundred thousand. <clears throat> uh, if you've never seen one of these in operation, they're amazing. Yeah, the whole hardtop folds up. Awesome technology for the late fifties for sure. He also says, "Be aware, a wellness check is not the same thing." As a physical exam, well, I got them both. A wellness check just basically does readings. A physical do, does that plus hands-on. No, I did all of it. I, I did all of that. But I, I haven't done the blood workup, and I'm not. No, we'll forget the blood stuff. I'm fine. I feel good. J-R-H-K-Y, do you have a license plate on that golf cart, or can you legally ride it on a public road without a license? In this area, you can ride it on any road without a license plate. No problem. Do you have to have one? If you were riding it on any of the Texas highways, you would. Or in a city, in a large city where they really are sticklers, uh, they wouldn't let you get away with it. But here, they just kind of turn their head and let you enjoy your life the best you can because it's a small town in rural southwest Texas. Or be living with the geezer. Check his channel out. I'm looking. I bet. I bet more of those will be showing up in Fort Clark Springs once people see yours. That's a cool looking ride. Yeah, it is, and the price is good. Now, you know, as far as that first comment about, you know, service and stuff, I called uh, Hyson, and uh, they said I could get it serviced anywhere I wanted to. We'll see, and. Uh, yeah, they they said if the person wasn't licensed with them to have them call, then they would, you know, set them up and then they could do the work and they'd pay for it. <clears throat> but knock on wood, I'm hoping I don't have any issues. You know, I'm not driving it 
24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, like you would be at a golf course. Ken Gardner, I agree with most of your observations. Personally, I go for annual physicals and do not take any meds. My doctor, my doctor's office calls after the test results, comes back, tell me everything is okay. Well, why do you go back and if you know everything's okay, you're just paying a fee for nothing. I get the results myself online. Uh, yeah, fortunately, I'm healthy and have a low BMI. Me too. I've got a low BMI. But anyway, yeah, thank you, Ken. Yeah, it says the huge consumption of pharmaceutical project pro products seems unnecessary. Now, well, let me see. Maybe he's got something here. Uh, it says, however, there are lives that have... Sure, I'm sure there are lives that have been extended due to medical advancements. Sure, sure, yeah, it's true. There's no doubt that med medicine has... You know, they, they don't bleed you anymore. In other words, when you go into the doctor's office and you feel bad, they don't drain a quart of blood out of you. You know, Frank... Mc but uh, as far as uh, longevity in the United States, it's actually declining. So I'm not sure. Frank McKinley, can a trike man transition to cart man? We shall see. He's done it. We've done it. We're 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 a cart man. Well, we're we're cart trike man. Because I'll still use the trike. Why? Because it's it's fun to ride it too. It's a different experience altogether, you know. And so yeah, I, I still will ride it. You know, uh, the Dogman Chronicles looks like a smooth, quiet ride. Yeah, a cool go kart, Rusty. Yeah, it's just a toy. Hell, I admit that. AM Coffee, are you required to have insurance and tag? No. Very nice golf cart. No, not here you're not. But it depends on where you are. You know, you'll have to check with the rules where you where you are. You know, if you see a lot of people riding golf carts around town, then you probably don't have to have anything. You know, and, and small towns don't really bother with people using golf carts. Jeffrey White, a little fun here. A, a form of evolution, trike man, cart man, giggle man, and I really love this guy. Well, thank you, Jeffrey. I love this guy, too. Me. Macho 4x4 Warlock. Uh, let me tells me something. The cart man has arrived. Beep, 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 beep. His horn went beep, beep, beep. Mark H. Guess I better get back on the meds. I thought you already had a brand new red golf cart. I did, but I only kept it one month, and I sold it. <clears throat> Al Fur, cool ride. Thank you very much. Rita Richardson, good morning, Rita. Looks like so much fun, Rusty. Great toy. Well, it just adds a little flavor to my life, babe. And at my age, I ain't worried about nothing. Well, I mean, well, that's true. I'm not worried about anything. Poodle Professor, good morning, Poodle Professor. How are you doing this morning? I love it. The, oh, on the new golf cart? Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Thank you, Jennifer, Poodle Professor. Uh, efficient RVer, formerly hybrid life. It's a boy. Yeah, it is, I guess. It's blue. It's a boy, I guess. <coughs> Scotty Thompson. Cool video talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Jerome Peel, the mask. Uh, excuse me. Scotty Thompson, the masked bowler from Wisconsin. Jerome Peel. Cartman Carteth. See, he's got it. That's perfect. Cartman Carteth. Carteth Oneth. You know what I mean? Yeah. William Bingham. Okay, Captain Cart Manneth. See, there, you guys are snapping on this stuff. So when is the first annual Cart Manneth Grand Prix? Have a blast. Rangers on boardeth. See, now this guy knows how to get get his comment read. See, that's perfect English and, and it's all correctly spelled. Thank you, William Bingham. Uh, <laughs> Carol Lipani. Hello, Carol Lapani. Hi, Rusty. I've been enjoying you for a little while now. Mm, is that you? I usually talk to you through the screen, but today I thought I might write in. You were talking about your recent M medical visit and labs. I remember hearing a statistic years ago that in 30% of cardiac patients, the first symptom is death. Well, that's a pretty good symptom. I, 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 that pretty well, uh, that'll do it. Don't know if we've gotten better or not, but I found that interesting. Take care, Carol. She's a registered nurse. Yeah, and basically you'll find that most registered nurses are much more aware of what goes on behind closed doors. You know what I mean? 
Wayman Samang, very cool to buzz around town in that beast. Cool. Yeah, it is. I went into Brackettville yesterday. I went, yeah, and it's just it's just another avenue, another thing to do. You know, it kind of fills up the day. I get up in the morning and do a walk for about an hour, come back. Uh, then I'll, it, during the week, I may go down and check the mail. But now I go down and check the mail in the uh, neighborhood vehicle. And yeah, and then cruise around town while I'm there. And if I need something from the grocery store, I spin down there and get it. You know what I mean? Alvin Masso. Alvin. Uh, anyway, Rusty, you have a wonderful weekend. Well, I'm working on it, babe. I am working on it. Uh, on the This is on the drive in the car. Mr. Shamey. Tip for cleaning Perspex windshield. Use a soft cloth, not one made from paper, which can scratch the surface, and wash, wipe in one direction, top to bottom or left to right. This will minimize crisscross micro scratches on the perspex surface and will keep it clear for longer. Have used this on sailplane canopies for many years, and it makes quite a big difference. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Shamey. I will bear that in mind. Rondolin134. Hello, Rondolin. Good morning to you. You boys with your toys. I love it. Well, out here where I am, there's a lot of girls with toys just like mine. Yeah, well, not just like mine. They're all different colors, but <clears throat> I'd say probably 50% of the people that live here have golf carts. Barry Smith, Rusty, I think you should have a contest to name your cart. This will keep us seniors awake for a while. Uh, well, you know, you can come up with a name. I won't remember it. <laughs> Shit. You know, and uh, so, yeah, you come up with a name if you want to. Uh, w. Thurman, thanks for the ride. Nice little NV. Have a great day, Rusty and Rangers. Thank you, W. Thurman. This is Bruce Oldman. He says Carte Diem. It's actually Carpe Diem, but that's fine. Thank you. Carpe Diem to you. Lupe, Louis Paparella says, are you required to display a slow vehicle placard while on public thoroughfares? I don't know. I, I'll tell you the truth, Lewis. I don't know any of the rules. None. I didn't check crap. I just do it, and if I'm doing something wrong, they'll tell me. You know, I, I didn't do, I didn't worry about I see people riding carts all over Brackettville and Fort Clark Springs. So I'm just riding along, babe. Uh, and I'm like a lemming. If they go off the cliff, I'm going right behind them. Well, maybe not. Bill Bird 74, will you get it registered to drive on the road? No. Looks like fun. A good ride to grocery store? Sure it is. Uh, yeah, but, you know, I've ridden it all over. You know, the DPS has seen me. You know, they, they, there's probably, there's more Department of Public Safety here in this area than there is in the whole state of Texas. Okay. So I went all over town yesterday. I probably saw half a dozen DPS cars and they, they saw me and nobody did anything. Louis Paparella, uh, I've been able to interview every medical pr pr professional I needed to. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, Devil Travels, 2023 rates. This is Texas State Parks. Oh, that's San Angelo. $20 a night plus entrance fee. No wonder the place is empty. Far too expensive. Well, you know, uh, if it's not expensive for a state park actually, if you check other states and different places. And $20 a night, unfortunately, it is cheap because RV parks, some of them are 40 to $60 a night now. Derek Trixa, thumbs up to you. Greetings, greetings to you. Uh, thumbs up to you again. Vic59, thumbs up to you. Lisa Shippert, hello, Lisa Shippert. Is there a backup beeper? There's not now. <laughs> it's sitting right over there. Never heard of a turning beeper. Me either. But it ain't there either. It's right over there too. In fact, today's video will show you how to remove them. Uh, this is Mike Turner. Rusty, that was a fun ride. You are too funny, my friend. I might have to get me one of them NVs. Well, you know, if you live in an area that you can ride it, do it, do it, do it. You know, or if you play golf, yeah. Alvin Masso, enjoy your new ride. Have a great day, Rusty. I'm working on it right now. Uh, DJ Davison. 
That thing's a virtual race car. Congratulations on your purchase. A fun vehicle, Sparky NHV1. Thanks for the demo. Yeah, you know something I did when I, that first drive that y'all saw? The speeds I was given was in kilometers per hour. <laughs> That's why I was getting up to 30 and 40 and all that mess. Because, yeah, it, it was in kilometers per hour. I changed the little button you push and change it to miles per, miles per hour, and I did. And it, it's about, it'll run about 24 miles an hour tops, okay? That's top speed. And that's plenty. Believe me, that's for golf carts. Golf carts are usually 18 to 20 miles an hour. Billy Ray, best thing I did 20 years ago was to buy my golf cart. I have a dump body on mine. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. So handy for what I do. Oh, okay. Oh, you mean a dump body on the cart. Okay, sorry. Thank you, Billy Ray. Enjoy your day. Uh, Sheridan Gay. Rusty, you ought to sign up as a tour guide for Fort Clark Springs, Texas, since you have a golf cart. The reason I suggest this part-time job is that you are great at explaining things to people and you're a wonderful storyteller. Sheridan, tell you the truth, I'm not interested in anything more to do. You know, I'm fine. And if anybody wants to find out about Fort Clark Springs, they can do it just like I did, one day at a time. But anyway, thank you for the thought and enjoy your day. Uh, we'll do four or five, three, four or five more. Sashi Smith, hi Rusty. Enjoyed your first ride on Rusty's brand new, brand new spanking cart in the neighborhood with his NV. Thank you, Sashi. D. Anderson, have fun, Rusty. You too. Outcast one, cool. Love the cart. Peggy Parker, the golf cart is the cutest thing ever, Rusty. Love that color. Yeah, it's a nice light blue. Yeah, it's a sky blue. Yeah. It says you're going to have every woman in the neighborhood chasing you down. Uh, the, the ladies in this neighborhood can't run, honey. <laughs> they, they, these ladies in this neighborhood, they're, they're uh, uh, well, they might walk real fast, but I doubt if they're going to take off running at me. Anyway, Alex V, always good. And that's the same for the guys, too. Alex V, always good to have new stuff. Yeah, last one, Vic59. Nice ride, Rusty. Congratulations on the purchase of your new toy. So glad to see you enjoying life. So many people just stress their lives away. You have certainly taught me how to stop and smell the roses. Have a great weekend. Yeah, well, you know, again, what I've told, I've said this many times. You know, what I do daily, uh, particularly at Beer 30, not, not Friday so much, but other days of the week on Beer 30, is I actually take a walk and ask myself, is there anything I could do to make my life more enjoyable, if, you know, within my financial ability? And, uh, and, you know, it's amazing. You know, I think of some things now and then that, uh, and I do it. I don't fool around, you know. I mean, uh, why would I want to wait, you know? Jeez, come on. But anyway, guys, from, oh, we got to get a goat kiss. Jeez, ain't got no coos, Rusty. There's your Sunday morning goat kiss from the stinking goat. And this is Romeo and the rooster and the rock and dink. Matilda, and what else? But anyway, having said that, guys, from Fort Clark Springs, Texas, on a nice morning. Hey, Google, what's the temperature at Fort Clark Springs? In Fort Clark Springs, it's currently 65 degrees. Perfect, with a high of 88 and a low in the morning of 55. We've got a little norther coming through it all, all day today. But anyway, enough said. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem. C-A-R-P-E. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. You just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you choose. And then whatever. Oh, what else? Uh... Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in, and the only way to lose weight is eat less. How about that one? And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Breathe out slowly. What does that do? Relieve stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Hell yeah. Do it several times a day. You'll never regret it. And then what? Stretch, stretch, stretch. So 
swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because uh, it's good for you. You'll feel better immediately. And then stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought, memory, dream you've ever had. So give your neurons something positive to work with. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye, bye, hasta luego, vaya, con Dios, aloha, until the next video. And on and on we go, guys. Welcome to Daylight Savings Time, minus me. Adios, bye. <laughs>